to see 60, 70,000 Singaporeans to come and watch us play live in Malaysia against the Malaysian team is just phenomenal. We we're always going to win for them, definitely. December the 17th, 1994. The Malaysia Cup final. Singapore annihilated Pahang 4-0. Ending a 14-year wait for the trophy. It was also a culmination for one man. Who rose to the occasion with a hat-trick. An Australian who stole the hearts of the Singapore fans. A striker who etched his name in their football history. This is the story of Abbas Saad. Abbas first came to the island nation back in 1990. I didn't know anything much about Singapore. I never heard of Singapore, to be honest with you. Uh, I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was, uh, it was more like a country town. So it was a, a bit of an eye opener when I arrived at Singapore uh, Airport, and I just couldn't believe it when we got out of the airport and how beautiful it was. So. From obscurity, the suave Aussie soon turned into a celebrity. When I first came here, I, I, I couldn't understand uh, all the hoo ha, so I, I probably didn't deal with it as well as I could. But you know, I mean, I was 21 years old when I got here and I felt like I was uh, Michael Jackson walking down the, the street. It was, it was just ridiculous. So. After a season with the Singapore Lions, Abbas went on to play for Malaysian state Johor in 1991. But his first love was always at the back of his mind. I thought I owed it, I think, to the fans of Singapore. And most important thing, I think my friendship with Malik and Fundy at the time, and we wanted to play together and, uh, you know, and, and win it for, for the fans of Singapore. In 1993, Abbas returned to Singapore. He played alongside a Lions outfit labelled as the dream team by the local media. But even with the likes of Fundy Ahmad and B. Sundramorti, Singapore lost to Kedah in the Malaysia Cup final for the second time in four years. I think the pressure got to a lot of players. It was very disappointing because we really wanted to win for the fans and for the country. But, uh, you know, that's football. That's, that's the way it goes. It was a lesson learned. The following season, the pieces fell into place for the Lions. The spirit was fantastic. I can see that after uh, we had a pre-season in Australia, I think, uh, the together, togetherness was there. We had a solid fighting unit and everybody was fighting very hard to win matches. Even though we're playing away, we try to win matches. And you can see that camaraderie is very strong. The team were consistent throughout the regular season and were in contention to win the then Malaysia Semi-Pro League. But to do that, they had to defeat an old nemesis, Kedah. We had to win the league, but just the, the atmosphere of that game, uh, the quality of the game and the quality of the goals probably probably seen, I think, Singapore, probably the best goal ever seen at National Stadium, for my money. Uh, the second goal scored, uh, it was just one of the best team goals uh, that I've ever seen. The goal, myself, Abbas and I think Malik, he won two tackles and very nice long ball on the right side to Abbas. Abbas went through, look up and sent me a good, good cross. I came in and drew a diving header. That was one of the best goals we've scored in that season. Singapore won the match 2-1 and went on to clinch the league title. They then prepared for the next challenge, the Malaysia Cup. The team kept up the momentum and went to the final for the second straight year. We were on a good run. I think we were undefeated all throughout the Malaysia Cup campaign and we were very, very confident. Uh, we were very fit and we had no injuries, so we had a good vibe and uh, I can tell after five minutes, the start of the match, that we were going to win the game. I just saw all the boys were, were, were ready for it. 
But along with the high came the lowest point in Singapore football as they ended their 74-year affiliation with the Football Association of Malaysia two months after their triumph. And Abbas was to face his darkest period in his career as he was found guilty of match-fixing and was slapped with a worldwide ban from the game. Obviously I was uh, very disappointed. I was at the peak of my career. I had a European deal to go to Europe at the time, so that, that got in the way. So really, that's probably one thing that's, uh, that I have regret and it affected my career that I never got the chance to play in Europe because of what happened then. That incident paved the way for the introduction of the S-League in 1996, Singapore's first professional league. It was also the same year FIFA lifted Abbas's ban. The Australian continued his career down under as Singapore maintained their ban on the striker. And it was to be another 13 years before Abbas returned to football activities in the island nation. More on that and the charismatic Australian later in the show.